Nickel State University senior Caitlin Rodrigue is on the road to becoming a professional artist. The college student gave her canvas a break and met with us to tell us her story. It's like the little GT art program at my school. Always we're in like after school art classes, even until I was a high, like in high school, you know, something I just love doing. So the only option for me that made sense to me was to come to school for art. To graduate from the Nichols Art Department, students must do a senior thesis project where they come up with an idea and propose it to the faculty. If the idea gets denied, students have to keep trying until they are approved. Caitlin's idea got accepted on her first try, and she did her senior thesis on a gallery full of self-portraits. I wanted to do like family members and kind of like my connection with them and how as I grew up, you know, their, um, their lessons and their um, influenced me to be like the person I am. So I decided to do self-portraits to really emphasize the fact that like all of their lessons and ideas have morphed into who I am today. So I decided to use myself to represent each individual person. Although all of her other pieces are inspired by her family members, in this particular piece, Kaylin wanted to portray herself and analyze who she really is. Rodrigue also explained that the patterns she drew in the background are colored to make the portraits appear more domestic. This is especially shown in her favorite piece, which was inspired by her sister. It's called Lead Your Own Way, and um, I portray myself like kind of laying in a bed because it's a, um, we shared a bed as a child, you know, we shared a room up until she moved out when she was 22. So. Um, We've just been really close, and she's my older sister, so she's always influenced me to just kind of do my own thing and, you know, not listen to other people's influences. Besides her sister, Rodrigue was also influenced to draw from artist Alice Neal. She, um, she does a lot of portraits of people that have influenced her and lovers and friends, and she likes to portray them. I guess in kind of ways that she sees them, so it was a lot having to do with a lot I did. She also used bold colors and patterns that really influenced my own work. For anyone who wants to become an artist or who has dreams of becoming an artist, Caitlin's advice for you is... Don't put it down, you know, when you have free time, just pick it up and sketch and really like try to decide like what you want to do with your own art. This is Joanna Dukri with NCW News.